Thank you so much for listening to my podcast. My name is Sylvie and before we start with this episode, I want to let you know that the doors to the community are open again since today. You are able to join the community until coming Sunday midnight. So make sure you are on time. Click on the link in the description or go to theconcussioncommunity.com. Hope to see you there. For now, let's continue with this episode. My six stages of concussion recovery. Having post-concussion syndrome is not just something you have for a few days or weeks. It's something that lasts way longer. And I can say it is, or was, a difficult journey. The hardest one of my life. It's not easy to experience post-concussion symptoms every day. I have recognized different stages and I would love to share my six stages of concussion recovery with you. My six stages of concussion recovery. Stage one, week one. Take some rest and everything will be fine. Right after the accident, I was able to go home. I didn't fall on my head and only my ankle was hurting. I had a weird feeling, but I could function as normal and I didn't worry about it. I thought it must be the rush from the accident. The next day, I went to work and acted like nothing was going on. I remember I did this for the whole week. And by the end of the week, a colleague told me that I made some mistakes. I never made mistakes. This wasn't normal for me. And my colleagues were surprised as well. I went home a bit earlier on Friday to take some rest and I told them I would be back on Monday. Stage two, week two to four. What's going on with me? On Monday, I wasn't able to go to work and I told my boss I needed one more week to get some more rest. My neck and shoulders were hurting and my lower back as well. What was going on? I went to my doctor and he told me to take a rest and after a few weeks, I should be back to normal. He didn't mention anything about a concussion or whiplash. I felt like he didn't take me seriously and just sent me home with some calming pills because I felt so restless. After a few weeks, I still felt restless. I couldn't handle things like I normally did. Even doing groceries was really hard. There are so many impressions in a supermarket. Lights, sounds, talking, moving people. Why did I never notice that before? How was I ever going to be able to find my products without being distracted by all those impressions? Stage three, one to three months. Why do my post-concussion symptoms not go away? I still didn't know what was going on with me. I went to my doctor again after a month and he told me I had a whiplash. Whiplash? It was something I heard of but didn't know exactly what it was. Get more rest was his advice. I went home and started to search on Google for more answers. After 30 minutes, I felt overwhelmed and closed my laptop. Google wasn't my best friend. I decided that it was better to rest and to believe my doctor. He told me it could take up to three months before I recovered. I waited until the three month mark, but when I was there, nothing changed. Stage four, three to 12 months. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I was getting frustrated with this slow recovery. Am I doing anything wrong? Should I change something? What if I start working out again? Doing some exercises? I tried it. And after five minutes, I needed to lay down for the rest of the day. I still didn't go back to my work and I was sick of being home all the time. I went to my doctor again and he sent me to a physiotherapist. I tried it for a few months, but it didn't help at all. This was not what was going to help me. 
I stopped the treatment. This stage was one of the hardest stages of the six stages of concussion recovery. Waiting, waiting and waiting, not knowing what to do to get better. Stage five, one year to two years. Is there a treatment or is this it? After a year, I was done with waiting and decided to look for options myself. Until this time, I still didn't hear anyone say that it could be a concussion. So I never looked for treatments focused on post-concussion symptoms. I don't know why I never linked a concussion to whiplash myself. I never read about it, so I guess I just couldn't know. I wish I knew it earlier so I could find the right post-concussion treatments. After almost two years, I spoke to a doctor who told me that I could sustain a concussion from a whiplash. I never knew this. And I started searching again on Google. I found a list with my symptoms that comes from a concussion and another list with symptoms that come from a whiplash. I recognized all the symptoms of a concussion. To see this list, go to the link in the description to go to my blog. Stage six, two years to four years. My post-concussion symptoms improved. I barely felt any improvements during my first two years, but I finally knew it was a concussion. So I could start looking for the right treatment. I did neurofeedback therapy, went to a psychologist, did interval training, did lots of cognitive exercises, went to a neurooptometrist, changed my diet, did lots of yoga, and finally, I felt improvements. There is just no quick fix when it comes to improving your symptoms. All injuries are different, which makes it even harder. But trying things and see what works for you is the best thing you can do when you're looking for the best treatment. Just waiting and accepting that this is it is just not who I am. I am always looking for more therapies that can help in my recovery. I truly hope you're doing the same. I know it's not easy to always keep hope. But I promise there is always hope and there are so many new things to try. Thank you for listening to my podcast. Just a quick reminder, the doors to the community are open again and you are able to join the community until coming Sunday midnight. For the people who don't know the concussion community, within this community, we help people to not feel alone, to heal faster and to regain their life. So what's inside? There is a library of 160 classes, 11 courses. There is daily support from me within a community so you can ask all your questions. There is a private podcast and I share posts and content you won't find anywhere else. And there is a private community to connect with others in the same situation. I truly believe this combination is so helpful because you can connect with professionals who do believe you and you can connect with others who really get how you feel so you don't feel alone and isolated anymore. These things were so important for me to move forward, to get at the point where I am right now. And I just want you to get to the same point. So again, the doors are open until Sunday midnight. Click on the link in the description to join or to get more information or go to theconcussioncommunity.com. I can't wait to see and hear more from you on the other side.